I'm Naomi and today I am planting some oxalis bulbs. It's a lovely sunny September day and September is the perfect time to start planting these dainty little bulbs. Oxalis versicolor and oxalis golden cape um, are um, can, also known as candy cane sorrel. They've got a really amazing uh, twisty flowers where the petals are all twisted and it makes the versicolor one is red and white stripy and I'm going to plant golden cape which is yellow and red stripy. And they look really magical in the garden. They're really great for growing in little pots like this and having on the patio or you can put them in nooks and crannies on the rockery uh, or in stony sort of gravel planting schemes. They look really great as well. They're not fully frost hardy, they're hardy down to about minus five, so you can keep them outside and get away with it if you're in a coastal area, somewhere mild with mild winters and a really free draining soil. But I like to grow mine in pots because then you can uh, shelter them a little bit over winter and then the following year they should grow back. Now they flower between late summer and November, so by planting them at this time of year um, they already have a little bit of a sprout coming out of them. They're starting to grow already. It's September now, so by November hopefully there should be a nice little bushy plant, bushy plants here with some uh, really amazing candy cane flowers on there. Now really, really easy to grow. The key is just to make sure they don't get frosted over winter and you can enjoy them year after year. So I've got my shallow pot here. This is about the right size. I'm going to plant five bulbs in this pot. It's about six inches, six to eight inches in diameter. I'm just using an ordinary multi-purpose compost and filling it up to the top. You can also plant oxalis bulbs in the spring too. If you plant them in spring, they usually start growing uh, around about late summer. So they do stay dormant for a while. There we go. So I've filled my pot up to the top. Because the bulbs are so small and compost is nice and fluffy, you can just make a finger hole for each bulb. And you want to plant these little bulbs, they're only small, so about five to 10 centimeters apart from each other. Each one should form a nice little bushy plant with multiple flowers on it when they start blooming. So I'm gonna plant mine about five centimeters apart in this pot. And they just want to be about five centimeters deep as well. Now the hole is five centimeters deep and you put the bulb in the hole there. And you've gotta be really careful if they've started sprouting, try not to uh, snap that little bit there because that's gonna be your plant. So when you plant them just Make a nice little hole and pop that in. And then if it does have a sprout, if it's poking out of the soil a bit, that's absolutely fine. And cover it up very gently. So I've put four around the edges. And then one in the middle. There we go. Now that's pretty much ready. I like to just finish it off with some grit on the top. Some horticultural grit is good. It looks nice and the sorrel quite likes to grow through it as well. There we go, that's all sorted. Now all we need to do is get them some water. There we go. So we just need to soak this through now, give them a good water. Give them a good soak all the way through. And make sure the water can drain out the bottom of the pot as it is now. When it uh, starts draining out the bottom of the pot, that's enough water. And they don't want to sit in wet compost. They like to be in a free draining soil. So always make sure there's no tray underneath or anything like that. Any rainfall can just go straight through the pot and that uh, should be plenty. And then now all you need to do is store that in a really nice, warm, sunny spot and a sheltered spot. It doesn't really want to be exposed to the elements. So perhaps on the patio, near the house or somewhere under cover. 
and it will be very very happy and that should start flowering or uh, you should see some growth on there in the next sort of month or so the, the little bulbs are already starting to shoot so it won't be long before you see something peeping through and then when it gets really cold in the winter these are hardy down to about minus five so they're okay for a while they don't mind a bit of frost but you want to move move the pot somewhere sheltered or if you've got them planted in the garden maybe put some dry mulch over the top some old fern leaves or something like that just to keep the worst of the weather off uh, i'm going to just move this pot near to the house i don't think it's going to get below minus five right next to the house in a sunny spot and i think that should be okay and you can also put them under some sort of cover or in a cold frame over winter and that just keeps all the horrible rain and cold off them as well and then hopefully they should grow back again every year they are a little perennial so you should see them again and again and that's all there is to know really about planting your bulbs and I hope you enjoy growing your own oxalis. Bye!